even when a boss few hours ago, as nobody ever expected what they did to Bola and Mentinubu, if they should tell Tinubu that that will actually happen to me, he will never believe it because Tinubu traveled to UK a few days ago for his two weeks vacation. But come and see what they did to him in UK. The foreigners of UK, the indigenous people of UK, it's not even the black, the white stage a protest against Tinubu. They said they should move out of their country. You will see show in this very video. I will play you the full video. You will see the way the thing go. You will hear from King Charles himself everywhere boiling UK a few hours ago. I would like us to stay connected to the end of this video. We want to see maybe they will prove the protesters that are staging protests against Tinubu in UK right now. So if you can share the video, just do it to share it. Share the video, stream that platform. Let it go viral. Tinubu is being disgraced and dragged in the mood. And if you can share it, just like it as a watching it. Like it, give the thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. Just stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. The truth of religious gossip. And the boys will leave the man to Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Turn down the next sense with Lajibong. Hello my good wonderful viewers, welcome in back to Lajipog Watch TV. For those of you coming across this channel for the very first time, for those of you that are new to this platform, ensure you click the red subscription button that is showcasing on your video screen right now. At the same time, click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in few hours time, YouTube will easily notify you. Come and see this grace in the early after today. I'm going to play you a video now. You will see what is happening to Bola and Ment Tinubu right now. You know, it was yesterday that I released a video regarding the house of Tinubu that was burnt down in Code of you know, the people of Kodova gather up themselves, they stage a protest and they burn down the house of Tinubu in Kodova. And I said that is not enough. The UK that Tinubu ran to, because according to report, Tinubu left Nigeria as a Wednesday last week. He left Nigeria for a two weeks vacation in United Kingdom, UK. You know, and when he got to UK, the people of UK finally staged a protest against Bola Met Tinubu, both young and old. It is not even the Nigerians in UK, it is not even the Africans in UK, it is the indigenous people of UK, the native UK citizen precisely, they were the one that staged a protest against Bola and Metinubu they calling him thief, you will see the video in this very video, and I say that it's not enough, you will hear what King Charles said regarding Bola and Metinubu, and I say that it's not enough, they call Tinubu out, they said they should leave their country, they said they don't want to see Tinubu in their country and all these things happen and miss everything that Tinubu have been doing to Nigerians all the anti-poor people policies that he have been making, how he have been profiting the people in the hajet poverty, how he have been putting people in multi-dimensional poverty in Nigeria. Now it have got it to the international community. They now chasing Tinubu out of their country. You will see you in this very video the way they draw Tinubu in the most. I would like us to take on that to the end of this video. If you can share the video as you're watching it, just do all to share it. Share it to the social media platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, just like it as you're watching it. Like it, give the thumb up so that it will be recommended for us. You know, it was few days ago that protesters actually protested in Nigeria. And look at the records of protests that have erupted in Nigeria right from time. Even from this year, you will see that they proved a lot of protesters. People came out to stage protests regarding the fact that there is fuel scarcity in the land, there is hike in price of fuel in the land because the number removed fuel subsidy without checkmating the policy that he made on the fuel subsidy. He removed fuel subsidy and there is still corruption under the fuel subsidy that was removed. The fuel is not circulating and the money that they got from the subsidy is not getting to the people. Some people are eating it up and nobody is checkmating all the activities regarding the subsidy. And the subsidy in the question put Nigerians in hajet poverty. Nigerians are anguishing in pain and poverty. They are in multidimensional poverty and there are hyperinflation in the country. People cannot afford to eat two square men in their houses and they came out to stage protests regarding the fact that Tinubu should do something regarding the hunger that is ravaging the land, but they dash a lot of people bullet. According to the August protest, the Empire government protest, a lot of people actually died in course of the protest. The secret operative that Tinubu weaponized actually proof a lot of protests. According to the reports we gathered, over 20 protesters actually lost their life and there's no secret operative that they bring to book nobody is being brought to book and all of that and i said that it's not enough the life of young nigerians is nothing to these people it's nothing to these people they don't have pity for the young nigerians and they eating the future of the nigerian people are not 
there with their luxurious lifestyle in the Azorok chamber and I said that it's not enough Nigerians stage another protest again from October 1 they call it fearless protest and the protest a lot of people actually pull out and they demand for their right as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and I said that it's not enough the secret operative they dehumanizes a lot of protesters and they did all sorts of shenanigans and they performed their criminalities including the IGP of police according to what Kenneth Koko said few hours ago you know he said it all regarding the IGP is one of the most corrupt entity as far as Nigeria is concerned and he breached a lot of laws as far as Nigeria is concerned but I said that is not enough the same Tinobu in question that proved protesters in cause of the protest in Nigeria he went to UK now for vacation and you will see the way UK people disgrace I will play you the video you will see show yourself they call a city president of Nigeria thieves they call Tinobu thief they call his name and they call him thief in broad daylight we want to see whether Tinobu will be able to poof the UK citizen that call him thief that come out to stage a protest against him to leave their country we want to see whether Tinobu will send the security operative of UK or security operative of Nigeria to go and poof those protesters in UK we want to see the way they poof Nigerian protesters since the human life is nothing to them we want to see whether Tinobu will poof the UK citizens that call him thief in broad daylight and you will hear what the leaders of UK actually said regarding Bola I mean, Tinobu they don't want Tinobu in their country they said they don't want to see Tinobu as far as UK is concerned they said he should go back to his country to go and make things right in his country you will see sure in this video you can share the video just do it to share it as you're watching it and you can share it just like it let it go viral let a lot of people get to know what is happening to Bola I met Tinobu right now and the disgrace that is getting to Bola I met Tinobu now let me play you what good Lord Jonathan said some time ago and you hear what Kenneth Toko said regarding everything that is happening and I said that's not enough during the video of Kenneth Toko you will see what they did to Tinobu it's a missed the video you see what they did to Tinobu in UK the disgrace of Tinobu finally come just stay connected I'm coming back again <laughs> Nigeria must move forward. Nigeria is for the youth. Nigeria is not for old people like us. The youth must redefine this country. The young generation must redefine this country. We must take this country to where we want to go. No parties can push us backward. The past is past. They have led us backward and backward. In fact, when we were born, we were told that at independence, Nigeria, Brazil, uh, 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 Malaysia, Indonesia, and even India, but we are all at the same level. That is what we are told when I was in secondary school. That is what we are told when I was in the university. Now all those countries have left us behind. And some people want to take us backward. Do you want to go backward? They have succeeded in fighting corruption, corruption wouldn't have been with us today. If somebody tells you that the best way to, to fight corruption is to come and arrest your uncle and father and see on television and dump him, you don't stop corruption. But we must set up institutions, strengthen them to prevent people from even touching the money. I am going to say this because the media people are not doing this government any service. Rather than telling us the truth that he is unwell, because human beings can fall sick. When we were campaigning, we knew he was unwell. When I was in London, I heard they got him coming out from St. Mary's Hospital. Rather than telling the people the truth that he has gone on medical vacation, that he is unwell and has gone to examine himself in a hospital, so that at least you don't portray him as being insensitive, so that you don't portray him as enjoying why nigeria is burning they are saying he has jetted out to enjoy himself what sane leader will go out to enjoy himself when more than 150 persons have died in the boat miscap if that is true then you cannot blame governor sim fubara for saying that there is a need to build a psychiatric hospital to examine our leaders because that's the only thing left to do. I would describe the situation in River State as a state of madness. And I would describe the conduct as embarrassing. First and foremost, that a PDP will sabotage the government of PDP in River State 
by purporting they are not going to partake in the election in the local government election in river state tells you that pdp now as presently constituted is a party of abnormally and that apc's government cannot do the right thing to encourage river state to conduct its local government election tells you that apc party as presently constituted is an apology so these two parties have become unapologetically abnormal and that is what is happening to the nigerian state nigeria has become a nation that is unapologetically abnormal because of the influence of this pdapc i said it before that these two parties they are two the two heads of a monster and we can see what is going on let us come into the issue of local government election first and foremost if you recall the last regime of the local government in river state when their tenure ended they wanted to extend their tenure through the instrumentality of the house of assembly and i was in support that it was illegal and governor fubara wanted to use a caretaker committee to replace them i was one of the lawyers that said this is illegal and that i do not support governor fubara to do that and governor fubara can see that the supreme court sided some of us who said that the constitution is clear on how the local government should be governed section 7 1 of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria 1999 as amended states the system of local government by democratically elected local government councils is under this constitution guaranteed and every state shall ensure its existence by a law which provides for its establishment for the structure for the composition for the finance and functions the key phrase is democratically elected the key statement now the supreme court that gave judgment based on the case that tinubu took to court through his attorney general gave a judgment that no local government in nigeria should be governed again by caretaker committee and that elections must hold and they put a punishment that any local government that does not comply the allocation to that local government should be withdrawn and after consultation 90 days was agreed on so 90 days from that judgment not only that it is illegal unlawful but it attracts punishment that can make a local government and a state unviable and fubara marshaled out the state the reverse state independent electoral commission to organize the local government election in accordance with the supreme court judgment in accordance with the provision of section 7 and then you are telling me that some politicians who are enemies of progress enemies of river state enemies of rivers people are parading the judgment of a lower court to say you will frustrate the judgment of the supreme court that is judicial recklessness let me give you an example in united states the doj was prosecuting donald trump a former president for interrupting and trying to overthrow the election the president went to supreme court and supreme court gave judgment that he has some immunities 
immediately the supreme court gave judgment whether you like it or not the whole system the whole persons and authority in the united states now started doing everything including the doj to make sure they conform with the supreme court judgment whenever the supreme court gives judgment the only duty of lawyer courts the only duty of any person or any authority in nigeria is to ensure that the supreme court judgment is enforced so the courts ought to be giving orders of mandamus compelling every party that is involved in election of river state which include INEC, because INEC must give the register to the river state independent electoral commission which includes the RESC, that is river state independent electoral commission which include the police any person or any authority what they should do or ought to have done is that they must do everything the law says they must do to comply with the order of the supreme court which is that local government election must be held in river state within 90 days and so the ig of police going against the judgment of supreme court because he's parading the judgment of a high court is an is a blasphemy now let me give you an example if the igp of police gives an order and a police corpora disobeys it and the ig summons the police corpora and the police corpora stands in front of him and say yes sir i disobeyed it because immediately you finished giving the order the commissioner of police in my state gave a contrary order and i decided to obey the order of the commissioner of police instead of your order what do you think the ig should do to the policeman sack him but that policeman the corporal has done exactly what the ig is doing ig is purportedly saying he has an order of a high court when the supreme court has given an order and he's saying he has decided to obey the order of the high court instead of that of the supreme court and what does that mean the igp should be fired you know why by going to river state i'll tell you the laws he has breached he has breached the policy of tinubu's government which is that every local government must hold the election within 90 days I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. Say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. Tinubu, thief. When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, 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 When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, Tinubu, When I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, Tinubu, An IGP is there to frustrate the holding of the election. So he's even working against the policy of Tinubu's administration. It wasn't me that went to court. It was the Attorney General of the Federation on behalf of the Federation and on behalf of the president who is in charge of the executive powers of the federation so the igp is working against the policy of this government two igp went to river state he was standing on the land of river state not on federal land he was standing on state agencies land not on federal agencies land the land use act section one said every land in a state every land comprised in a state is vested in the governor of the state and the state is holding it and the state governor is holding it in trust for the people which law gives the igp the right to go and stand on a state land in front of a state agency because the only exception is if the land is federal government land or federal agency to give orders to a state governor no it is the state governor that should give orders to the igp because he is the chief security officer of the state 
I don't know where the IGP got that power. But let me tell the IGP, unknowing to him, he has committed a judicial queue. The constitution is very clear. In section 1, subsection 2, he said, the government of Nigeria shall not be governed nor shall any person or group of persons take over the control of the government of Nigeria or any part thereof in any manner except in accordance with the constitution. The constitution has already decreed that the system of local government by democratically elected local government councils is guaranteed under the constitution. So if the IGP went to River State in the negation of this provision, then he has become an accomplice to trying to assist people to give them the power using the instrumentality of the state to make River State to be governed or a part of it by people not in accordance with the constitution. So the IGP is now an accomplice to trying to commit judicial kill. And let me tell you, section 84 subsection 15 of the electoral act is very clear that nothing in this section or in the whole electoral act shall empower a court to stop the primary election or general election pending the determination of any suit so where will the courts get the power to want to frustrate the election local government election in river state you know what they want to do? They want to make the government of Governor Simfubara unviable. They want to make sure that the local government people in River State and their people do not get their share so that they will make it to, that he will have political problems with his people. And unfortunately, the IG of police is lending his voice to support this illegality and unlawfulness. Let me tell you, by IGP of police withdrawing the security from River State. Anybody that dies or is killed in that election because of that withdrawal, that will be a murder case against the IGP of police. I'll give you an example. Why is God holding David responsible for the death of Uriah? Did David physically kill Uriah after committing adultery with the wife of Uriah? What David did was David set him up and he told his army, set this man up in front of battle. And when he's in front of battle, withdraw from him so that he will be killed. Who did God hold responsible for the murder of Uriah? It is David because he's the one who withdrew the force. After setting up Uria, IGP withdrew Nigerian police to set up River State to go into flames. So whoever dies there, the blood is on the head of IGP or police. And that's what I keep saying, that any politician who is not willing to go the way of Governor Sim Fubara, to stand up to resist criminality, illegality, to stand up to say, if I perish, I perish. But I will do the right thing. I will stand for democracy, stand for rule of law, stand for my people because they voted for me. Any politician who is not ready for that resistance and protest should step aside. What Governor Sim Fubara is doing is absolutely correct. He's resisting intimidation, manipulation. He's resisting people who want to take over River State and the local government in a manner that the constitution has not decreed the same people that we are shouting that governor fubara was governing river state with caretaker committee are the same people that want to frustrate the election that is how insincere liars operate in government what they are fighting for is their pocket it is their positions and power not the people and the people must rise up to defend themselves from these leaders. So what Governor Simfubara did and is doing is in order 
and I support it. What the IGP of police has done is illegal, is ungodly, is criminal. He should apologize to the people of River State and he must make sure that not even one hair of anybody in River State falls to the ground because the law is clear. The police is there to maintain law and order. So the police cannot withdraw in any circumstance from any situation that could cause chaos. The police cannot double into political issues. IGP is doubling into political issues. He must withdraw from it and he must make sure that the orders are maintained in River State. And the chief security officer in River State is Governor Sim Fobara. And his orders should be maintained. <laughs> Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. You can see the disgrace that actually come to Bola and Mentinobo. You know, Nigerian politicians have turned themselves to the level that even in Nigeria, they feel like there's nobody that can question them. There's nobody that can hold them accountable for anything. They think they can do and undo as far as Nigeria is concerned. They think they can just do all manner of criminality, shenanigans, and a lot of things that nobody will be able to touch them because they have security guarding them. They have a lot of security operatives flocking around them and all of that. They have a lot of people they can send an errand to do a manner of rubbish to Nigerians. And that is why Tinobu got to UK and they disgraced him from UK. You can see the way those UK citizens, they are even white, they are not black. You can see the way they actually disgraced Bola and met Tinobu in this very video that I just finished watching. For them to come out to call a sitting president of Nigeria, another country precisely, for them to call a sitting president thief, they said, Whenever I say Tinubu, you say thief. Tinubu, thief. That's what they're saying in this very video. This is a big disgrace to Bola Amen Tinubu. It's not a disgrace to Nigeria. It's a disgrace to Bola Amen Tinubu precisely because what Tinubu will be doing in Nigeria, a lot of people are not happy with it. Is it the same Nigerians that are trying to correct the shenanigans and the rascality of Tinubu? Are they the ones that want to fight for Tinubu on the media space? They are not the ones to fight for Tinubu. In fact, when Nigerians actually saw this video, they were even happy that Tinubu is being disgraced outside Nigeria. Tinubu is being disgraced in UK by UK indigenous and native citizen. They said Tinubu is not worthy to be called a president of Nigeria. In the full video, the full video that they did regarding the protests in UK, they said Tinubu is not worthy to be the president of Nigeria. That he have been making anti poor people policies and this policies in question is reprofitting people in high poverty people that cannot afford to eat two square men before now they can't even afford to eat one square men in their house in the regime of tinubu tinubu removes subsidy without thinking of the side effect he removes subsidy without thinking twice and the same subsidy in question tinubu did not make any provision or grant for nigerians to leverage or survive on and he made the policy that subsidy is gone and I say that it's not enough. The money they generated from the subsidy is over four trillion naira, according to a report from Falana. You know, he said the money is over four trillion naira. Now, the money we got in three months from subsidy, Nigerians did not see the money. Nigerians did not get in touch with the money. Tinubu said he gave it to the state governors. The state governors said Tinubu did not give them any shishi. And now, why are we to hold accountable? What was the work of ESCC? The ESCC is just a kind of a useless organization as far as Nigeria is concerned. All they know how to do is to run after your old boys and that are collecting ice stone card and all of that even people that are not even into fraud yes so we bash into their house to go and carry young guys that they think that they are doing fine and dressing nice in streets that's what they're doing they carry people that are doing fraud and they carry people that are not even doing fraud and they extort all these people and the politicians are there in the lights of yaya below that stole over 80 billion era and that's in yaya below walks freely to the ESCC custody and they were even doing bodyguard for him and the same ESCC in question announced Yaya Bilu as wanted criminal and all of that and the same Yaya Bilu went to the office nothing is be done and they went to add drama in his house at night now you can see the rubbish and the shenanigans that is happening in Nigeria Nigerian politicians are working freely in Nigeria but in UK Tinubu cannot even work freely in UK again because the UK citizens are against what I meant Tinubu now because they believe that he cannot make his own country right he's running down to their country now the question out there is Tinubu have two weeks vacation and he ran to UK to stay to enjoy himself can't Tinubu stay in Nigeria if Nigeria is okay can't Tinubu stay in Nigeria and be enjoying Nigeria the same Tinubu went to UK and made it not to the general public in UK that the rules of Nigeria are very okay there's no banditry there's no insecurity that travelers can travel at night 
freely in the road of Nigeria. And this same Tinubu announced that in UK when he got to UK. That's one of the things that pissed the UK citizen off because they know the news that is out there regarding the security that is ravaging Nigeria. And the same Tinubu that went to UK to announce that there is no insecurity in Nigeria. Whenever his convoy want to pass or move around in the street of Lagos or Abuja, the convoy of Tinubu at times is over 100 cars. The same person that said that there is no insecurity in Nigeria is moving with convoy of over 100 car convoy. No president in the whole world is doing that. Even the president of UK or the prime minister of UK is not doing that. But Tinubu moves in massive convoy and yet is going out there in the diaspora and pretending as if Nigeria is okay. Living a fake life on behalf of Nigeria. Now Nigerians have bust out. They said if Tinubu cannot poof the protesters that came out to call him thief in UK, how will Tinubu be coming to them in their own country and be poofing them just because they protested against Tinubu just because they said that they are hungry and they are hungry just because they said that Tinubu is not doing the right thing. They sent Tinubu that the most first subsidy and there's nothing coming out from the first subsidy rather than suffering that the people are undergoing. They sent Tinubu remove electricity subsidy and nothing is coming out. Nigeria is not enjoying anything from the government as far as this country is concerned. Even the Nigerian man actually came out and made note to the general public that they are not enjoying any single thing from the government as far as Nigeria is concerned like other countries where immigrants are enjoying dividends of country but in nigeria even the citizens are not enjoying talk less of immigrant do we even have immigrant as far as nigeria is concerned there's no immigrant the people that just know themselves into nigeria are the people that just enter nigeria illegally and you can't go to this people country without visa but nigeria has been reduced and useless to the extent that you can hear what good luck actually said the people and the country that gain independence are not with nigeria then in 1960 was country like brazil and all of that but look at those countries now and look at nigeria compare nigeria to brazil compare nigerians to all that countries that receive independence in 1960 you can see that nigeria is far behind the politicians of nigeria have eaten nigeria down they have eaten nigeria raw there's nothing good coming out of nigeria again even investors are running out of nigeria and running back to their country or running back to other country nobody is ready to invest in nigeria again because the task that Enumbu is putting on the people and the companies are too much over several and something companies run off from nigeria in the one year of Tinubu in office and I see that it's not enough a lot of companies are still running out of Nigeria and I see that it's not enough Nigeria is not working and Tinubu is pretending outside there that Nigeria is really working that Nigeria is cool drop a pen in the comment section of this video have you ever seen a prime minister of UK coming to Nigeria to spend two weeks vacation or US president coming to Nigeria to spend two weeks vacation or all of that have you ever seen all those things happening but you see the light of Buhari in the regime of Buhari will run to London for his vacation and spend more than three months in London and the same thing is what Enubu is doing. All the leaders of Nigeria, all the politicians of Nigeria, that is the same thing that they're doing and I say that is not enough. The traditional leaders of Nigeria, they can't do anything about all these things. It is even the politicians that are dictating to the traditional rulers of Nigeria what to do and you can see the likes of Tinubu, Teni or Neo Fifi and some other kings what to do regarding the protests and all of that, telling them that they should not allow protests in their province and all. But in UK, it it is King Charles that is dictating to the politicians in UK what to do in his country. It's not like that in Nigeria. Nigerian traditional leaders are just kind of useless. Drop a button in the comment section of this video. I'm going to get another one for you and share. Follow me on my social media handles on Facebook at Live Power TV and Live Entertainment on Instagram at Live Power. Guess what, guys? See you in my next video. Bye for now. Pastor where they bar, where where? Politics are where they do pass me. Say, I'm a leader. Why you with the for church? All I slide you pop was TV.